Hey, what is up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review The Godfather Part 3. So, The Godfather Part 3 stars Al Pacino, Andy Garcia, um, Diane Keaton, and Sofia Coppola, and what this film is about. It's about when, you know, a much older, like much older, Michael Corleone, you know, he kind of, he just wants to become kind of sort of a religious man now, and when his um, nephew Vinny wants to be a part of the, you know, Corleone family name, basically Michael takes him under his wing and shows him the ways of how they do business. And, you know, if I go further into detail, just like with the first two, if I go further into detail, I'll go to spoiler territory because there is a lot that does happen in this film. So what did I think of The Godfather Part 3? Now, now this movie isn't bad or anything. You know, Godfather Part 3 isn't awful, but at the same time, it it's, it's not good. It's a very, very disappointing way to go out. It's such a great series. Like, the first movie is one of the greatest films of all time. Like, seriously. The second one I thought was great, too. Like, it was a great sequel. But, man, this one, I don't know where they went with it, man. They just... It's just okay, honestly. It's a very, very mediocre, you know, ending to the series, really. It's a mediocre third installment. But let's get to my positives, because I do have positives with The Godfather Part 3. My positives are... First being, I thought the acting was pretty good for the most part. I did really enjoy everybody in the film. You know, Al Pacino, he was really good. I really enjoyed him as well. He was very good in the film. I thought he did, you know, a great job as usual. You know, he was great in the first two. And he was very good in this one as well. Um, Andy Garcia, thought he was good too. I very much enjoyed him. He was very good in the film. Uh, Diane Keen, she was good too. I I thought she did a great job as well. So yeah, the, most of the acting is really good in the movie. Um, you know, I still like how it still focuses on characters and all that, you know, like, just like with the first two movies, you know, really, you know, really good with its, you know, uh, with its characters and stuff, and it's a very good character piece. Um, you know, I, they'll, I still think the, uh, musical score is still great with the film, I still love, you know, the musical score still fits well with the scenes and everything. Um, the writing is very good in my opinion, I do think the writing is good, honestly, you know. I did think the writing was good. The directing was great as well. Francis Ford Coppola, you know, he does a great job directing the film. You know, it's beautifully shot as the previous two movies. You know, it's very beautifully shot. Cinematography is great. So, yeah, I thought Francis Ford Coppola, he did a great job, um, you know, directing the film. And lastly, I thought um, the first 30 minutes, you know, the first half an hour of this movie and the last 20 minutes were actually very enjoyable. I actually was invest in the first half an hour, you know, in the first half an hour, I was like, you know, I don't really get the hate for this movie, really, I, I'm like, this is really good so far, but then once it gets to a certain point, I'm like, yep, yep, it just took a little bit of a nosedive there, but, you know, I still thought the first half an hour of the film was still really good, and the last 20 minutes were really enjoyable, too, up until, we'll get more into that afterwards, but, so yeah. Now the negatives that I have with The Godfather Part 3, and my negatives are, first being, Sofia Coppola, she cannot act to save her life, can she? Man, she's awful, she is so wooden in this movie, honestly, she really is, all she does is play a whiny teenage brat, seriously, and she does a horrible job, really, I hated her in this movie, she was so awful, seriously, she's... She's better behind the camera than she is in front of the camera. Seriously. She's a horrible, horrible actress. She was terrible in this movie. And apparently, from what I read, originally it was supposed to be Ronaldo Ryder that was supposed to play, you know, um, Michael Corleone's uh, daughter. And that would have been much better. That honestly would have been way, way better. Because, you know, Sofia Coppola, you know, just can't act. Sophia Coppola can just really just cannot act, and she was awful in this movie. She was by far the worst actor in this film. Speaking of her, there's this. Uh, my next problem is is that there's this forced relationship between her and um, Andy Garcia, like, and it just feels so forced and so contrived in my opinion. It's just like it doesn't need to be there. Like, it it just felt very forced and very just thrown into the story in my opinion. 
and it just really didn't fit at all. Speaking of the story, the story itself wasn't all that interesting either, really. With the first two movies, I was very invested into the story. I was so, so invested. But in this movie, I was just, I thought the story was bland. Like, I thought it was just so bland and just so generic and so boring, in my opinion, that really... I didn't like it. I did not like the story with this film. It was so boring and so bland in my opinion. It really, really was not a great story in my opinion. I really was not invested with the story of this film. Next thing, the editing with this movie. Now, in the first two movies, they only had... They would use like a fade to black, like they would fade to black, but they only did like one or two times in the first two movies. Here, they do it about five or six, okay? And you really... Like, gets you out of the scene, and it really gets you out of the mood. Like, I'm like, when they kept on doing it, I was just like, okay, can we quit? Like, like I said, I didn't mind in the first two movies, because they only did it, like, once or twice in the first two movies. But here, they do it, like, five or six times. I'm just like, stop it. Just stop it. Um, the pacing, man, this movie's two hours and 50 minutes. It's the short, well, it's not really saying much, but it's the shortest out of the three movies, and it's the most boring. H how? Seriously, I was so bored while watching this movie. Like, it, it really was. It was just so boring to sit through, really. It was <gasps> boring. Seriously, it was really, really, really boring, this movie. I really thought the movie was so bland and so boring, honestly. And my last negative and my biggest problem with the movie, the ending. Okay, I won't spoil it just in case if you haven't seen The Godfather Part 3, but... Man, just the way they end this movie, I will say this. They leave so many questions, and just so, it like, it leaves more questions than it does answers. You're wondering what happens to some of these characters and stuff. Like, seriously, there's so many unanswered questions that, you know what I mean, that really don't tie together. They leave you with more questions than answers. And plus, it ends on such an abrupt note that you're just like, wait, what? Seriously, the ending was terrible with this movie. I, I just hated it. It's my wor it's it's my biggest problem with this film. So overall, The Godfather Part Three, although it's not a terrible movie, it's still not very good either. I was very disappointed in it. I, I was just really disappointed of how, you know, a movie a movie series you know movie trilogy that had two first great installments like greatness upon it. And then they just fall flat with this third installment. It's just... Wow. So it's time for my first grade on The Godfather Part 3. And my first grade on The Godfather Part 3 is a C+. It's an okay movie. It's not terrible or anything. But at the same time, with, uh, you know, with the trilogy that had two great first installments. And with a man like Francis Ford Coppola directing it. How? Like just how did they mess it up? Like, really, seriously, how did they mess it up? But they found a way to it, and it turned out to be just a mediocre, bland film. So, yeah. So, that was my review reviews for all three Godfather movies. Thank you guys so much for watching, you know, my reviews of all three Godfather films. I have fun time watching, for the first time, this entire trilogy, and it was my pleasure reviewing it for all of you guys. So, yeah. So, what did you think of The Godfather Part 3? Leave in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we will see you about later. Peace.